Hello and welcome to our first video in a series on Axway's Integration Builder. I'm Seth Toda and I'm one of the developers working on the product. Integration Builder allows you to build custom integrations between multiple services with ease. To get started, let's head over to platform.axway.com and select Integration Builder. Some of the amazing power of Integration Builder comes from leveraging connectors and flows. Connectors are pre-built integrations that allow you to interface with hundreds of pre-existing APIs, as you can see here. Everything from services like AWS to Zendesk. There's probably a connector for that. If you want to create your own service connector, you can do that too, with the build new connector functionality, but we'll show that in a later video. Flows define a series of actions that will take place based on a defined event. For example, we could perform a connector action on a cron event or even manually with a request event. To get started constructing a flow, just click the Build New Flow template button here, followed by clicking Build New Flow. We can name it Test Flow, and then we can choose what kind of trigger we want to use to start the flow. We'll go more into building flows in a later video. Now that we have a high level understanding of connectors and flows, let's create an instance of a connector and then leverage it in Axway's API Central. To do that, let's head over back to the connectors menu and let's create a connector for Slack. So we'll go ahead and click Authenticate and I'll name this my Slack instance. Okay, and we'll click Create Instance. So what this will do is go ahead and prompt you to sign into your Slack and perform the OAuth setup. Now that the OAuth flow is complete, our instance has been created and we can see it here under the Instances menu. So if I wanted, I could actually try it out right here in the integration builder UI. So I'll just do a simple call to get channels and we'll hit execute. And as you can see here, we get a nice response back from Slack. Now what we've automatically done is now that we've created an instance here in integration builder, we've also created a proxy entry under API central Now that we've clicked on API proxies, we can see here that we have our instance located in the proxy list. If we want to, we can go ahead and deploy the proxy and then that allows us to start testing it. So here we can go ahead and call the exact same method. And here we get the response back from integration builder, which called Slack. Now, if we want to, we can even create an app that we can add an API key to and add that API key to our proxy. We've created our API key and now we can add our API that we just had. We'll select the one that we built in Integration Builder and we'll add it to our runtime and now we can go to our API proxies, go to the proxy we created in, in Integration Builder. We can update it to use the new API key we created. And let's make sure it's updated. And now we should be able to test it with the new API key that we created earlier. Awesome. Lastly, we can publish the API to the catalog where it can be discovered and consumed. To do that, go to deployments, add to catalog. We'll just keep all the defaults. And then it's been successfully added to the catalog. So here you can see our new proxy has been added to the catalog. So in review, we leveraged a pre-built connector and created an instance to talk to Slack. 
we were then able to leverage that instance as a proxy in API Central and secure it with an API key. This is just the beginning for Integration Builder. If you want to see more, let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content from Axway.